didn't hear any voices telling me, uh, Marvin, Marvin. Uh, but I felt at that moment that God was calling me for something bigger. Things are not that clear cut. For every decision that we make in life, there is something that we leave behind. Why would you want to live more simply? Why would you want to live with less? It's not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> I guess my biggest doubt was whether or not the Lord was really calling me. Celibacy, I would not be able to have a, a wife and children. I would not be able to accumulate wealth for myself. Is this life going to make me happy? Is this going to be a something I want to do for the rest of my life. If you have a heart that's open to it and an ear that's willing to listen, you'll find out. It's the central message of our faith uh, that God has a special love uh, for people who are poor and wants the world to be a different way. And the Vincentians have carried that message uh, now for four centuries. There are so many areas in our country and in other areas of the world where this message would be so timely and it needs men to carry that message, no doubt about it. For the last year, I was praying about what can I do to serve the poor. And suddenly I found this person, St. Vincent de Paul, who dedicated his whole life to do this, to serve the people of God. I didn't hear any voices, but I felt at that moment that God was calling me for something bigger. I have this, um, this desire, you know, to, to help out people, to be a priest, and I started thinking about it, and I talked to more priests, and I really like the work that the Vincentians did because they work with immigrants like myself. I want to do this type of work. I want to give back. Ask any father of his children or mother of her children what it's like to give themselves to the life of another. It's pretty much the most fulfilling thing you can do. At this point in my life, I couldn't imagine having done anything else. Uh, when I was 20, I could have imagined a lot of things. One of the things that we hope for, for all of our students, is to figure out what it is that God's calling you to do. I kept you know, feeling called that you know, I need to go into education. My choice in following that call was to kind of stand up and say, you know, this is, this is my life and this is what I feel God is calling me to do. And I need to do what I feel is right, not what everyone else feels is right for me. We also have to look at the things that we're passionate about and good at that no one would ever recognize or notice. We just need to be open to everything that's around us and that includes uh, how God's speaking to us through other people, through ourselves, through prayer, because we don't know the right choices. What I did in my discernment process was to talk to people and to say, you know, this is what I really think I want to do. I think being a daughter or being a Vincentian is the best way I can live that out. But it's always in dialogue with people that I, I come to know what God's really calling me to do. Sometimes you can't explain what you're really attracted to this person. And that happened to me with, uh, with the vocation. I said, you know, I feel really happy when I go to church. I feel that this is um, what I'm supposed to be doing. And of course, it takes a lot of prayer. It takes a lot of uh, discernment. Look inside. Look at what you're drawn to do. Look at the eyes through which you look at the world. Uh, examine all of that and gradually the path will become clear, even though sometimes you think it's never going to be a question that's resolved. <laughs>